Hello YouTube. So now I will show you some very good plugins for MuseScore for 5.2, 4.5.2. Sorry. So let's start first by looking at the plugin by Michael Norris, which is very nice actually. Uh, let's try to create a title page. Now in here, the the plugin is very cool because it provides us with a lot of options for the title page, right? Okay, like this one, change title, subtitle text to match the title page fonts. You can do whatever you want with this. I see a lot of uh, template from famous publisher like uh, Anle and then Peters uh, and others like this. Maybe I would like to have. Um, Okay, let's see uh, if I can choose this one. Double click and then it's done. Like that. Let's wait for a while. Okay. It's loading now. All right. So uh, you can check here, right? It's very clean, very nice. Like that. Right. There's also a front matter one, right? You can write here everything that you want to write. Very nice indeed, right? So next plugin, let's see if we can like uh, recommend layout changes with this one. We're gonna try to check all the things. Let's see if it can suggest us some good layout changes. Uh, it is based on Elaine Gold uh, Behind Bars, which is the Bible for a lot of engravers actually. It is a book, very useful. You must buy if you want to become a music engraver or maybe just a composer trying to write some music. It might take a while because uh, it's a lot of... Ah, see? It changes now, right? It changes a lot of things now so you can see even the thickness of the notes now the line thickness is very very decent now it is everything is clear all are done automatically now of course if you don't like it you may always refer it back okay oh, just undo right uh, everything's gonna be back again okay let's wait for a while because it's uh, changing a lot of things actually All right let's wait for a while first might take some time for MuseScore to do since uh, it has a lot of pages it depends on the how long or how big your score is might take a while for me uh i'm okay with the layout but let's just say we don't want to use that one All right so now let's go back all right let's see if uh i just want to use a few things yeah maybe so this one maybe i would like to have a layout and instrumentation okay, let's check this out now I found a bug actually with this uh, what is it plugin. Sometimes it does work, it doesn't work sometimes, but the other plugins are okay. I think the checking layout and instrumentation takes a lot of times for the things, yeah, like that. So anyway, yeah, it doesn't change anything, just just checking, I think. Before it was working actually. I don't know why maybe it's only applied to certain uh, what do you call that certain score type maybe it needs a full uh, orchestra now uh, let's see the other one uh, it is about checking the accidentals let's see all right let's see if I want to check all the accidentals and then uh, it will check your accidental distributions and um, 
uh, it will give you some pop-up comments like this which is very nice actually this was already natural like that this was already sharp so it's asking why uh, need to be there again right so this is cool actually right uh, now uh, if it's done you can always plug in and then delete comment and highlights and it will just uh, make all the comments disappear what I like about this is uh, it's nice to see the thing just like in new Dorico 6 features like proofreading but instead of just proofreading it shows you really the right place with the comment <laughs> which is very handy by the way now uh, let's move on to the rhythmic notation right so I go there and I go rhythmic notations it will tell us whether there's a conflict or there's a problem with the far over 100 is our only flag the first 100 so like that it's so cool the rest can be turned on into a bar rest select the bar rest and then press delete so it, it it's not just like uh, telling you how to do just it's also telling you how to do it properly like that okay this should be beam to the previous node set the beam type property of the node intervene intervening rests if any to auto this node should be beam the previous node set the beam like that the same so actually this note is hiding beat 2 split the note with a tie so it shows the beat 2 well uh, actually this is following the original score by the way the note like that so this is very handy and very cool actually you might want to look at it it's available on github or facebook uh, now let's remove all comments and highlight now the other plugin set I would like to show you is uh, another plugin also very cool I forgot the the name of the creator but it's like um, like uh, you are gonna be able to move all the notes to the left to the right stop above, above. so like example I want to move this score like that I can plug in move selection move to the stop above and then bam it's like that it's just like that you can move <laughs> and then you can see the revelation there right or or I can go like duplicate the stop above so now I have two violins say playing the same thing like that which is uh, very cool actually <laughs> nice right and then not only that actually uh, we can move this thing like for example I want to move this note here okay to the next uh, right push music to the ne me next measure like that bam it will just move the music to the next measure like that so it's very handy you don't need to like copy paste and then not only that you can like move to the left this one yeah to the left so the music move the things move and everything is just changing like that uh, the last one that I want to give you is uh, let's see if this one works yeah uh, it's about remove empty measure so if I go here uh, supposed to the one that measure are empty not like that yeah supposed to be gone actually but this one had since it doesn't have really sorry for that one so uh, okay last one will be the aligning things let's see if the align is working how uh, you see that but problem is it's gonna align everything uh, basically including the accidental which we don't want that to happen so most of the time I use that to clean up uh, or aligning the lyrics actually now uh, maybe the last one will be the big time so you can change 
the signature into like a movie style signature movie score right the signature is there very big right and then you can undo again of course so yeah basically let's let's try one more time love for the sake of the uh, testing layout and instrumentation shall we so let's let's select all let's try to maybe we don't uh, piano percussion we don't use that uh, okay since we only have violin in here right let's see if check strings only works in, in this regard Well, I don't see any changes yet. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's see if uh, instrumentation is there. Let's just try. Uh, let's raise note. Let's see if I can go just like this one. Check string only for his type settings. Okay, let's try. Okay, let's let's make it a little bit. Let's make just a few selection, perhaps. As I mentioned earlier, uh, at first it was working. And after a few trials, actually, it stopped working properly. I think uh, since it's still uh, in uh, beta phase, I guess. It's really try hard to check complete it. But let's see. Ah, there you go. See, now we know, right? Alright, so it's cool now. Tempo marking doesn't have to be set metronome marking. This is so cool actually. Launch the violin one. Violin two. So now you know, right? This plugin is very cool. <laughs> so we can tell that um Michael Norris has succeed making this amazing plugin. So yeah, there you go. This is cool by the way. Right, instead of her uh, crest or diminuendo, you insert chains of insert chains of dynamic. Better to use hairpins in like that. So it's not only giving you this advice, right? It's also telling you this tempo marking doesn't have metronome marking. Okay, again like that. So cool. So there you go. A very useful plugin from Michael Norris. It is MN plugins grab yourself in a github i'll see you there later and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you